On August 9th, Disney officially announced the Mandalorian Grogu movie. If you were one of the lucky few to see it before it got taken down, the trailer ended up leaking on several platforms. I can't show it here without getting taken down by YouTube, but I bet you can still find it out there. Major spoiler warning for the rest of the video because we will be building a certain scene from the trailer. In almost the entirety of the second half of the trailer, it shows a scene of Din Djarin, who is better known as the Mandalorian, along with Grogu on the back of my favorite vehicle in all of Star Wars, the AT-RT. They are running down a hillside on some snowy planet. At the bottom of the hill, there are two AT-ATs waiting for them. As of this video being posted, we do not know what planet this is on, but I will throw out the prediction of it being the planet Vandor. This makes sense to me because of the similar terrain and the existence of Imperial bases on the planet. Also, Disney likes to do nostalgia a lot, and Vandor showed up in the Solo movie. When I first saw the leak, I was super hyped because it would allow me to update my AT-RT model. I felt like my old model was still good, but not good enough. The feet were a little strange, the legs were chunky, and the body was just downright wrong. With this leaked trailer, I am now able to show you the new and improved AT-RT with the Mandalorian and Grogu. It's been quite some time since I've made some terrain for my builds, so don't critique me too much on this part, as it isn't exactly my strong suit. I decided to build the part in the trailer where Din and Grogu are running down the snowy slopes before they're met by the AT-ATs. Once I design my own AT-AT or get the original set, I will probably expand this mock to include the meeting at the bottom of the hill. The hill is built upon a white 16x16 16 16 plate, and I built up the rock spires from there. Then I formed another 16x16 16 16 plate with holes for the rock spires to come through and I decorate it with white wedges and dark gray slopes that are supposed to mimic rocks. I'm not the proudest of how the terrain turned out, but I guess this shows me what I need to work on. If you have experience with terrain, leave some tips for me in the comments. Or feel free to remix this video with a YouTube short showing me what to do as I am a visual learner. Let's get to the gem of this build, the ATRT. This is the fourth version of my AT-RT mock, and it is by far my favorite. In fact, it may be the very best out there. It has incredible articulation, accurate sizing, and is incredibly detailed for how small it is. The only thing that I think I will change in the future are the feet because they look a little strange, and I also want to add the little sensor packages on the back. Even though the terrain is lacking, I'm still glad that I could accurately display this trailer as a mock. The ATRT is one of my favorite builds I've ever done, and I honestly think it's the best one on YouTube. If you want a true full tutorial video of the ATRT with piece numbers and all, then tell me in the comments. For my mock rating, I will give it a 7 out of 10 for stability, a 9 out of 10 for accuracy, a 7 out of 10 for sleekness, a 9 out of 10 for scale, an 8 out of 10 for detail, a 10 out of 10 for functionality, a 9 out of 10 for availability, a 9 out of 10 for part usage, a 10 out of 10 for piece count, and an 8 out of 10 for cool factor. This would give it an overall 86 out of 100 or a grade B. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please consider giving this video a thumbs up, a share, and consider subscribing to the channel. It really does help me out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.